Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, I got him! I got him! I got the pilot! Hey guys, so it's Daniel from Laser Gaming. In this video, I'm actually doing a throwback um, of the Battlefield 1 Alpha. Now that the Battlefield 5 Alpha has ended, I played in it, and I was lucky enough to play in the Battlefield 1 Alpha, but on Xbox One, pretty much two years ago. And that clip I hit in the intro, I was super hyped when I hit that, guys. You don't even understand how hyped I was when I hit that pilot site. I even went on a pretty cool streak afterwards. Um, I have some MP18 kill streaks here, um, and then I also have some just uh, blimp gameplay, tank gameplay, but those ones actually have commentaries. So if you guys want the raw gameplay, you can watch the MP18 part, um, but then if you guys want to hear some of my commentary of the game, uh, just listen to my voice from two years ago, I have that as well. And if you guys notice how long the video is, I'm doing something else too. Um, after about seven minutes of this, I have a Battlefield 1 gameplay with the new Burton LMR from my Twitch stream the other day. Um, I think that I, when I stream and like have stuff on Twitch and YouTube that are live streams, I'm going to throw the best gameplays in on the end of my videos, um, just because it'll give you guys more content to watch, and a lot of you guys aren't necessarily into my streams, uh, but you guys like to watch sort of the best of it. And so this is like a 32 and 5 gameplay, or 32 and 6 gameplay with the new Burton LMR. Just going off in the new Zebrigy shock, shock Operations, and so... Yeah, I have that at the end of the video, guys. I'll put a link down below in the description to that part of the video if you guys just want to click through to that. Uh, but just sit back, relax, and enjoy this MP18 gameplay, and then enjoy some extra Battlefield 1 gameplay from the Alpha um, with some extra commentary on it. This might be a glitch at this time, but it looks like this is meant to be because the iron sights look completely normal. They look like they're meant to be there, and this sniper rifle doesn't have an iron sights option right now, so they wouldn't have rendered these iron sights for a glitch that might not be possible. Right now, I've tried aiming down sights. I tried to get out like every other gun in the game. You should be tap firing, but this weapon is just different. LMGs are different and you can't tap fire them. It's so weird to think that if you tap fire them, you'll do worse. It honestly seems like it takes, this game's trying to make LMGs take less skill than previously, which honestly could work out good or bad because I feel like most confident players honestly would just play Assault and by making LMGs easy to use, I guess they could attract a more new crowd to that. But honestly, I just don't think it's a good mechanic as a whole, and you really shouldn't cater your game to work like that. Another issue, there's more of just a bug. Um, the hitbox for bayonet charges should be a bit bigger. Often, you, even if you're right next to the opponent, if he strafes even slightly, and you were on target to hit him in the arm, it'll just run right by him, and you can't stop with the bayonet charge, so you'll just keep running away. And you've probably seen that clip a couple times where, on my channel, I've showed it a few times where... 
I was shooting at an enemy. He came, and it looked like he bayonet charged right through me and just kept running in a circle. It was pretty funny, but it's frustrating when you're on the other end. At least on Xbox, at least, I got some major frame drops down to just zero frames per second where you, it just wouldn't move. It's not like it was lagging. Everything else stopped. The entire screen just stopped, and then it would continue, and I'd be in the exact same spot. It's pretty weird at times. It never really killed me, but it was a little weird. Now, I'm going to talk about the medic class next. I feel like the medic class should be a bit stronger. Most people are still playing assault because of how strong the tanks are because they arguably have the best weapons with the the uh, SMGs, at least in close quarters, but they seem to work pretty well in most situations, especially since the spread on most other guns are so is so large at long range. Um, you can just do really well with an assault class weapon, and it was honestly probably my highest scoring uh, class overall at all the other classes and really the medics the semi-autos do not perform like accurate marksman's rifles they have a large spread at medium range and it, i wouldn't say necessarily nerf the fd-17's damage but maybe just increase the heavy tank's damage slightly or give it a slightly larger field of view i know it might not be as realistic but as i've stated with previous mechanics in this game it just it's not that realistic overall anyway so it wouldn't hurt that much to give it a slightly larger field of view i'm talking about the main cannon here because that's really where your tank's going to do the majority of its big damage now with all that being said i'd probably give this game a 7.5 out of 10 in its current state in an alpha which is pretty good what i really liked is they've cut down on a lot of the bugs that we've seen in battlefield games and betas and alphas this alpha really had minimal bugs which was really really good sign um, but ultimately, mechanics like the LMG mechanic and the fact that snipers, you can't set them to zero meters zeroing. I agree that maybe you want to set a sniper's zeroing to 75 meters as the default, but the fact that developers aren't even giving us the option to set it to zero meters is just extremely, extremely annoying because you get used to previous Battlefield games where you actually had to aim above the enemy's head. And that required more skill. I don't see, it seems like this game in a lot of situations, at least on console, it felt like this. They're trying to remove the skill from the game. And while it seems like a fun and good game overall, and again, we only saw one map, it is alpha, so everything could change. They could bring in really overpowered weapons and stuff. But the time to kill overall felt slow, which I personally didn't like. I didn't mind it. I got used to it by the end of the alpha. But it's just certain things with this game that just make it a little frustrating because on one hand they're trying to be realistic because it's a world war one shooter and they're they say they're trying to be realistic i'm fine if it's an unrealistic world war one shooter where it ultimately is but i got in an argument with a developer with a developer about the zeroing mechanic i said why can't we have it set to zero meters he said because no sniper would realistically set their sniper to zero meters because they're not going to want to hit somebody up close. But I was like, can't you just give us the option to set it to zero meters? And he just kept saying, no, no, we can't. And ultimately, it's just stuff like that that kind of bugs me about this game. That developers, while it is a close alpha, they weren't necessarily trying to take a ton of feedback, which kind of bugged me overall. And I hope that we'll see some changes. And if there is overwhelming feedback in the beta, it will ultimately change some of this stuff but battlefield one right now i feel it's a bit too overhyped and developers are thinking that they've made a perfect game because everyone's saying they love it they love it we love battlefield one no matter what but once it is the mainstream crowd people who aren't hyped people who don't really care what the build-up was for this game they'll ultimately see where a lot of these mechanics might get frustrating and annoying because people who use guns regularly will tap fire. People in real life know that you should tap fire. And if they hop on and try to use one of these guns, they're just going to be like, why the heck are my shots hitting? I don't like this game. And ultimately, yeah, that's my thoughts on the Battlefield 1 Alpha. I know it was a bit all over the place. I just sort of wanted to get these out to you guys in the video. Yeah. Tell me you guys want now. from Battlefield 1. There you go. Oh, there's a, there's a trip wire there. What the heck? Seriously, bro? One hit me that revive. Hey. There's Ro Rocks coming in. Finally unlocked this gun, man. I actually love it. And we're playing it on a Zebra Gi for you. Oh, or Zebra Gay.
I gotta resupply people to get the uh, second part of this assignment. These pilots are pussies and keep hopping out, man. Oh, well. Apparently, that guy thinks the pilots are pussies. There you go, mate. Gotta resupply. Oh, Empire's not too hot though. Yeah, dude, I can't. I, I'm. That's one thing I'm trash at. I'm a math guy. <laughs> I'm bad at pronouncing shit. Okay, let's just get up. See, that did 68 damage that fast though. This thing, this thing melts. But it can only kill like one or two people. You know. There you go, mate. I need to resupply um, 100 unique teammates. Um, so that one's kind of hard. Alright, this is such a flank route right now. Okay, I fell down below. Oh my gosh! Woo! No. <laughs> Jeez, man, what the heck? Did my YouTube video go live? Ah, I did not mean to spawn in. <laughs> I'm trying to update the stream. I know this is kind of late to stream, but I need to get my hours in. I just got destroyed. We have taken objective apples. Jeez, man. Freaking roasting and toasting them out of here. Come on. It killed me. I was not that far. Oh, man. I thought it was going to move to the next objective. 11 and 2, though, using the new Burton. I'm trying to unlock the optical. Let's see how close we are. 37. Resupply 100 different allies. That one's kind of hard, but I just got to start spamming. Um, interesting. I hadn't seen this little blimp before. That's kind of cool. Actually, really cool. And I haven't really found a good use for the fire mode on this gun. You can fire it in like a fire mode. Or with like uh, incendiary rounds that are better against vehicles. Let's get back on the objective. Let's move up to this corner up here. a pretty good spot to cap it from. Alright. The guy up here, I think. Or not, Tina's put him up. We gotta push up to uh, B. Yeah, I think it would work best on planes. I'm not sure. Yeah, right there. Oops, it's... 
I think they gotta fly close. Oh my gosh. I'll try to use it on the plane. We'll see. The recoil is quite a bit at range. There's a guy pushing my left, probably. Oh, crap. <laughs> I knew he was going to push me. I should have just switched my pistol right there. Would have made it a lot better. Uh oh. Rise up. Ah, oh, get that. Throw that out there. Hmm. Oh, buddy. 19 health in your beacon. See, this gun, if you control the recoil, is very good at medium range. Even up close, too. Teammate. Oh my gosh. The vapor locked. One good thing about ammo is it's not like heals, where someone has to be weak to get heals. Pretty much everyone's always low on ammo. Holy crap, I love this gun. Oh man, I probably could have taken out the plane there. 20 and 3, man. Freaking popping off, bro. This is a good game. Revive me? Eh? Teammate, you're a beaut. You're an absolute beaut. Oh, that, that, just that small amount of three damage. I'm gonna try to hit that thing when it comes through on another strafing run. No, see, that was the wrong one. Some, for some idiotic reason, I switched back. Where is he? I wanna shoot this plane to just to show you guys how it works, but. I guess we'll just push up a little bit. Well, they took A. So we actually have to go back, not push up. Uh, yeah, head glitch is probably not the wisest challenge with this gun. Okay. That guy's very weak. No, guy behind me got me. C93. Oh, teammates. You're, you're too clutch. Come on. Too freaking clutch with the revives. Oh, guy coming from behind. No, I probably shouldn't have just ran. What are we? 23 and 4. Let's go. Jeez, that guy at the top. It's a lot of OBJ points. Oh <gasps> no! Holy crap. We are losing objective This sort of spot right here you can contest. I'm actually gonna push up. Damn. Place that, maybe one of them will walk over it. What? I think one of them just shot my freaking. One of them just shot my. Somehow my Olympic got hit. Oh gosh. Jeez, man. Okay, I think it's cleared. We should be good now. Oh jeez, you have to go off the ship too? I didn't even know that. That the operation went that far. Pretty dope. 
Or I guess that's. Yeah, you kind of just. I'm just in, literally in that guy's sweet spot. This is not this gun's strength. Definitely not. Oh my god, I just got destroyed. I had no clue what was going on there. I just got, I just got lost in the sauce. Way too hard, brother. 29-5. My team is 47-4. and four. But he has not been playing the objective at all. Oh my gosh, your teammates swam all the way out there. We, I'm getting in this boat. Oh my god, anti tank grenade. Come on, bro. Why do you gotta do me like that? Doing a live stream on Twitch right now with the new Burton LMR in battle. Oh, we like to aim for three average viewers. Cause that's what it requires to get affiliated. But, I mean, we were getting seven or eight earlier today, so. You should be okay for a little bit. Uh, Kobe. Got him. Hmm. Okay, I gotta try to take out their plane. I'm just seeing. Okay, you do have to lead it quite a bit. I'm, I'm starting to get a little feel for it. Okay, not good. There, they gotta be up here. Jeez, you seriously took him out that fast? Holy crap. Jun's coming this way. I want to try to take out a plane with this. And fly down this way. Vehicle disabled, let's go. That's actually dope. That's actually so cool. Vehicle destroyed, let's go. Oh my gosh, and I can actually complete like the Parabellum assignment too. I like destroy airplanes with uh, with LMGs. Damn. Oh, where's this mofo? Oh, he's right there in that corner. Oh, we won. Let's go. That was a good game, man. Debra Gay. Let's go. GG's boys. MVP top of the scoreboard. I think I even joined a little bit late, too. Using the new Burton LMG. Let's get it. I actually might post that on YouTube, streaming on Twitch right now, but that was a pretty good gameplay. Let's just wait and check the uh, post-game scoreboard. Hey, best support. Let's get it. <laughs> and now we have KD ratio, best score, best score per minute, resupplies. All right. 